The only limit is your imagination. Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of Korean Eats with me, Dan. Today, I'm eating something that I'm very excited about sharing with you all, which is... Lamyun. Most people will know it as ramen, but in Korea, especially this particular brand is called Lamyun. There you go. I'm not going to tilt it because it's currently filled up with water. As you can see, I clipped it on with my chopsticks, which is a nice lesson I learned from the website Eat Your Kimchi, uh, in order to keep the heat in. And this particular ramen, uh, which is called Shin Ramen, is not one that you drain at the end. It is a sort of watery ramen. To accompany this dish, I have bought some uh, of our old favorites. Salmon Geran, boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs specifically. Mat Kimchi, tasty kimchi which you may remember from the second episode, and a new addition to the Korean Eats repertoire, cheese. Or if you're Korean, cheese. It. it is literally just called cheese. It. This particular one says cheddar cheese, which means, as you can probably guess, cheddar cheese. Uh, it isn't the cheddar cheese that you're used to if you're from the UK. It doesn't come in a lovely big block form with a picture of a cow in front of it. Although it does mention being made from milk, uyu. And it's also 25% down, which is always a plus. Let's have a look at how the ramen is right now. Oh, it's looking good. I forgot to move the sachet. So, a nice wet sachet here. I have my chopsticks. I have my nicely soaked ramen. Here we are. And now I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, separate the noodles. There we go. I'm gonna tear the sachet open. Hopefully it's still in good condition. It's gotten a bit slippery from getting wet. This uh, particular ramen is a little bit spicy. It's kind of a classic. A lot of people like it here. I poured in the powder. Now I'm mixing it all up. Yum, 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 yum. Well, I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute while we get the other ingredients prepared. Salmion geran. Rip it open. Break our egg. This is all very familiar, isn't it? Peeled my egg. I think I'm getting quite good at this now. Look at that, a nice clean peel. That is some good yolk. A little bit, uh, soggy but not too soggy. Just gonna drop that egg right into the ramen, mix it in a bit. Ah, that's good. Now let's open up the kimchi. Mad kimchi from the second episode. Tasty, tasty kimchi. We love it. My hands are a bit slippery so it's struggling a little bit like this. There we go. Open. Excellent. Just gonna have a little snack before I start. Ashish oh, are I promise. Right. No more snacking. This kimchi has an important task. And that is we go in the ramen. Just gonna mix that up as well. It's turning into quite a concoction. You're probably wondering at this point how I can possibly stand to have such spicy food. The shin ramen being quite spicy as it is added to it the, the kimchi. And the egg, which is obviously notorious for being quite spicy as everyone knows. I'm gonna cool it down with some nice mild cheddar. Mild cheddar. Remember, cheddar cheese. Ah, oh, look at that. Doesn't this just look so appetizing? Nice floppy cheese. Peel it open. Mm-hmm. Like it's a plaster or something. Definitely cheese, not rubber, I promise. So I just kind of tear this a little bit to make it easier to melt when it gets into the ramen. Now all the cheese in there, I'm just going to mix that up. Just wait for a minute while it melts a bit, thicken up the goop that I've created. Is 
This kind of cheese is pretty much the uh, most common kind of cheese you're going to find in Korea. If you want to buy anything that's kind of more like real cheese, as we know it in the UK, you're going to be paying a premium of at least like 500% on top of this, which costs a mere one or two thousand won a pop. And you get, you know, five generous slices from this. But if you want to get brie, for example, you're looking at least like 10,000 won for like a little kind of tiny wheel, which is only five pounds to be fair, but it's expensive for Korea. Right, it looks like my uh, ramen is looking quite nice now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nice and goopy. The cheese has melted in a bit. The kimchi is, is playing its uh, part as spice agent. And the egg is nowhere to be found. I'm sure I will come across it at some point. Here goes nothing. Ah, that is spicy. But then there's like bits of cheese that just kind of pop in and make it cooler. Kimchi. Really good mixture. You should definitely try this. You didn't stop at what I've just added though. You can really add anything you want to the, to the ramen mixture. The, the mixes you get in these little pots are usually quite simple. They normally just have the noodles in their sort of solidified form and sachet of of like flavoring and you add the water yourself here in the shop and then you add all the solids that you want to add yourself you could get, get some tuna and add that you get some smoked chicken and add that four eggs and add those and just have like a massive egg ramen or you could add some pizza whatever you want really anything that you can find in a convenience store you can add it to the ramen it's a really fun way of doing it and on top of that there's at least 20 different varieties of ramen choose from. There's ones that are tomato flavoured, there's kimchi flavoured ones, beef flavoured ones, there's fishy ones, there's even an apple flavoured one and a pizza flavoured one. Crazy, there's just so much choice. If you want to come up with a flavour, if you ever thought, oh it would be really great if I could have like a Hawaiian pizza with kind of egg on top of it and cheese, extra cheese mixed in, you can find it in ramen form in Korea. The only limit is your imagination. Anyway, I better finish this ramen. Oh, here's a big chunk of cheese. Oh, I found the egg. Oh, and there's yolk on it as well. Nice. Mm. Doesn't that just sound delicious? Just a bit left to eat. Finished. Triumphantly. That was extremely spicy but it was worth it, and it was delicious. And I have an egg, a boiled egg, and four slices of cheese for later, perhaps a midnight snack if in order. Thanks to my friend and cameraman here, Rich, I also have some Narang cider, which is not alcoholic cider, but just sort of like slightly lemony fizzy drink. So uh, cheers to spicy, delicious, strange combinations of food in ramen. Thanks for watching as always.